Hi, my name is Vivek Pandari. I'm a product manager with Cisco Systems doing web security. I'm pleased to announce the availability of Cisco IronPort web usage controls on Cisco IronPort S series web security appliance. So what is the problem that we're solving with the release of this product? If you look at the state of the web today, it has grown exponentially. There is over a trillion URLs out there and that number is growing by a billion URLs. So what this has done is it has created the problem of the dark web. This constant dynamically changing content has created the dark web, which is the content that's out there on the web, about 80% of the World Wide Web that is not there in categorized URL filtering databases. So web usage controls uses unique technologies to do dynamic categorization by looking at the content on the wire. So we offer best of breed URL filtering list coupled with dynamic categorization capabilities to allow our customers to have the most effective, acceptable use enforcement of policies. Let's take a quick look at what web usage controls really does. I'll walk you through a quick demo and then we'll wrap it up with what makes this product so good. Okay, so let's take a look at a quick demo. What I'm going to do is we're going to mimic a real user experience. So let's say there's a user at work that's trying to say, uh, let me look up Texas Hold'em uh, rules. Or I want to play Texas Hold'em online. Now this is something normally that you would expect organizations and businesses to not allow during office hours. Now. If I click on any of these links that come up in my top Google search results, I would expect these links uh, to get identified or be categorized in URL filtering databases as gambling sites. And if the policy was saying block gambling traffic, which I have configured right now for this demo, it would block it. So when I click on this, you can see that I was blocked from getting to that site. Right Now we're going to go back and what I'm going to do is go into the dark web area. I'm going to go deep down into the search results and we're going to pull up a random site that is unlikely to be in the URL filtering list. It's probably going to be uh, uncategorized. And you know, if I click on this link, for example, here, um, and I have right now, see, I'm able to get to that site. Now, this is because my proxy, my dynamic content analysis engine is currently configured uh, to be off. Now, I'm going to go to my proxy and configure and activate my dynamic content analysis engine that can take the content in real time, analyze it, and come up with the category for it. We're gonna go ahead and commit the changes here, and we're gonna go back to our Google search results, and I'm gonna go back uh, to the site which I was able to get to earlier because it was uncategorized, and we'll make sure we refresh the page over here. And we're going to go ahead and click on this link again. And now you can see that I've been blocked, whereas earlier I was not able to. So that is the power of the content analysis engine. Okay, so you just saw the demo for web usage controls and how it is able to dynamically categorize unknown sites on the fly in real time without the end user seeing any sort of delay. This technology uh, is backed by Cisco Security Intelligence Operations, which sees over a third of the global network traffic. And we use this data to effectively point our crawlers to ensure that our URL filtering list is most up to date. So web usage controls offers industry leading efficacy. You know, it has a URL filtering list coupled with dynamic content analysis to ensure that our customers get the most effective acceptable use product on their secure web gateway. For more information, please visit cisco.com slash go slash security. Thank you for listening.